This is Paul Gordon of State of Wakes, The Dose. This story is from The Daily Caller. UVA illegal immigrant group demands xenophobes be barred from student government. So you have folks here, so you, you might want to re, re, uh, re, retitle this undocumented fascist wants to ban student for having a different opinion. A conservative member, uh, oh, let, let's see, let's credit the writer. Blake Neff is the writer here. A conservative member of the Virginia University of Virginia's student government is being targeted for impeachment after he helped block university recognition of an illegal immigration group and then protester, protested to use the term illegal immigrants or excuse me, then proceeded to use the term illegal immigrants on Facebook. Dreamers on Grounds is already an active group at UVA, but is currently unrecognized. Last week, it made an effort to change that, petitioning uh, the student council to receive contracted independent organization status, which would allow it to book space on campus and petitions to receive school funds. But the vote didn't go well. Out of 12 members of the council, six voted to approve the status and six abstained, which under council rules meant the pe petition was rejected. Dreamers took the results badly. On Sunday, the group created a lengthy petition denouncing the vote and demanding that UVA intervene to purge the student, purge the student government of any xenophobes. Yeah. So, undocumented fascists is, is what I'm going to call them. I'm... I'm not necessarily for calling people illegal immigrants. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the ANCAP libertarian crowd, so I, I don't necessarily want to call them illegal immigrants. But these folks that are here are in the state system that they are seeking to actually get money from and they want to use their power, their thuggery power, to bar people from being part of student government because they're xenophobic. If you want to be xenophobic and be part of government, you have every right to. See, that's called liberty. Liberty protects things we don't like. This is a lesson that nobody seems to want to learn, not on the left or the right. A particular focus of the group's ire is UVA student Eric Reiner, one of the abstaining student council members. Shortly after the petition failed, Reiner made a Facebook toast to post touting the victory. Ready? Ready for the uh, reason this guy should be uh, banned? U of A student, UVA student council news. Bill approving a student's group to support illegal immigrants at UVA has been defeated. Conservative hashtag. Reiner wrote in their petition. Dreamers argued that Reiner's, Reiner's post, just just that word, uh, illegal immig immigrant, he signaled that he allowed his partisan political beliefs. Wait a second. That's exactly what you, when, when you're on the student council, when you're voting on a political matter, you absolutely use your partisan political beliefs to affect his vo vote on the student council. The group also condemned Reiner's language as offensive. Even though the post was removed the next day, no harm had already been done. Uh, I'm sure that counselors have been called in, trauma teams have been called in to uh, help these uh, these poor little uh, undocumented fascists uh, deal with their butthurtedness. Offensive terms such as illegal was used, and he made it clear that Studco was not to be trusted. The feeling that dreamers were unwelcome was already being felt. Uh, maybe the dreamers are unwelcome because they're looking to take state money from people, and that means that uh, somebody stole money from somebody else through taxes, because as we know, taxation is theft. And they don't want that money that they stole from them to be used on undocumented fascists. Despite receiving a private apology from Reinhardt, boy, I would have never done that who took the post shortly after it went down. 
Boy, th this is this is the 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 cuck attitude there. Dare I say it, the cuck attitude of Rhymer. I would never have apologized to these tools, to these undocumented fascists. Although I wouldn't have called them illegal immigrants, I would have probably called them. Well, I wouldn't have called them undocumented fascists yet because they hadn't earned the term. Uh, I would have voted against it just because I would have voted against the state funding it, and I would have made it clear that, hey, man, you want state money. Forget that. Of course, I'd be voting against everything that involves state money, so I would be a total buzzkill on the student council, and they would probably boot me off because of the feels of, 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 of having someone who's against theft on their council. Dreamer said it was a little too little too late. Apology. This is this is uh, this is this is how the fascist mindset. Uh, the, the, and I'm using fascist in the broadest term. I'm calling anybody who is a fascist who wants to use intimidation tactics in any way, shape, or form to try to bully their their position on others i'm calling them a fascist what the heck? i know it's not technically the right way that you use that term but what what these folks do who have that type of mindset is they 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 nudge and and you give a little and when you give a little you give them a justification for their nudge in the first place see see he knew he was wrong he knew he he apologized he knew he was wrong yeah Despite receiving a private apology from Reiner, okay, and Reimer told Campus Reform that although he is a political conservative, his vote on the CIO petition was not based on his political beliefs. So what if they were? I'm telling you, you just stand up and you say, yeah, um, I, I have a political view, and uh, my political view most assuredly uh, affects my, my, my decision. As a conservative, he would believe that these guys are illegal immigrants and they have no real legal status in America. That's, that's his belief. I'm, I'm, I'm not a conservative, so I'm not sharing his belief, but that's his belief. Stand up and own your belief and stop being wuss, a wuss, and stop giving these, these fascists any ground whatsoever, any excuse whatsoever. I could go on with this article but I won't because the blood is shooting out of my eyes and I, I, now, I now need somebody to call in a trauma team to help nurture me because my feels got hurt. So if you like this video and you like me, Paul Gordon, and why wouldn't you? I'm freaking awesome. Be sure to like, share, and comment, and above all else, subscribe. Because if you do not subscribe, you set Liberty back millions and millions of of milliseconds.